Three for you. David? Mary, where are you? Darling, I'm at the flat. Still? Darling, I'm sorry, I'm not going to make it home tonight. I'll have to stay up. I've still got half a dozen shots to do. <sighs> well, again tomorrow. Well, I'm not sure. Freddie's trying to juggle the schedule. He wants me on standby. I see. Oh, I'm sorry, David. It can't be helped. Can't it? Listen. Oh, never mind. Shall we expect you tomorrow? I'll call you. Yes, you do that. Look, uh, could you see to Muffin? Make sure the stable door's properly locked and bolted. I don't want him kicking it open again. He won't. Not now. It's been strengthened. Good. How's the work going? OK. How far have you got? I'm just about to come up to your death scene, dear. Uh, well, that should be some consolation to you. Mary, we've got... I'll call you tomorrow. Night. Come over here. Come on.
You want to go out then? Come on. Come on. Bill? Billy! Billy! Billy? Who are you? What are you doing in here? Who are you? I did it. I did it! You did what? I escaped them, that's what I did. Where's this place? Woodstock Farm. Woodstock Farm, is it? Well, who be you? David Winter. I live here. You live here? You live here now. Look, what is this? I me, David Winter. Who be on the throne of England now? Now, listen. Who? Queen Elizabeth, of course. Elizabeth, when came she to the throne? Which Elizabeth? Elizabeth II. She was crowned in 1950. Oh, master, be praised. I'm free. Long, my beauties. Where be your Are you and where are you from? Where am I? I'm Lucinda. Lucinda Jessup, and please you. Where I come from? I come from here, Woodstock Farm. What else? Place. There's a change. Look, I don't seem to be understanding you too well. Did you uh, live here once? Huh, I lived here. I was born here. Oh, I see. I was born in this house in the year 1627. <laughs> 60. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That's more than. I am more than 300 years since. Tell me, David Winter, what you do with witches in these times? Witches? Nothing. You don't hunt them? No. You don't get poxy witch finders to swim them and hang them and burn them? No, we don't. Oh, well, that's good. That's very good, David Winter, because I be a witch. Uh, now, listen. I don't know what your game is, but I don't go in for that sort of thing. Oh, what sort of thing would that be, my lovely David? Black magic. Fooling around on Halloween and that sort of nonsense. <laughs> They wanted to put me to the test. They tried to swim me, and they would have burnt me. They had their fire burning already out there in that yard, but I showed them my powers. Who? Amos Franklin and Joshua Smith and their Puritan gang. But I escaped their fire, like I escaped their water, and here I am. Yes, yes, of course you are. I like a ghost. Well, I be no ghost. I be a living woman, David Winter. Listen, wouldn't you, uh, like to lie down, rest for a while? You look rather tired. Would you like a drink or something? Oh, you want to poison me? You won't get rid of your poor Lucinda that way. No, no, of course not. <gasps> it's all right. It's just the power coming on again. Take it away. Take the power away! Oh, then come on. It's only the lights. Here, look. It won't hurt you. And, and again, so, you see, you want to try? Come on, give me a hand. And up, and down. Thank you. 
Not in there. What's the matter? The cellar. Yes? Yeah. Close the door. Close the door. They prison me in the cellar down there before they drag me out to the fire. Basin and a toilet. It's only water. Yeah. Oh, this is the shower. There's nothing to be afraid of. Now, the other rooms are quite ordinary, just bedrooms. Bed chambers. Yes, that's all. This used to be my room. There now, you see. Why don't you have a little rest? You must be rather fatigued after travelling for 300 years. Let me out! You swore you would not harm me! I won't! Just stay there and rest. I won't let anything hurt let you. Let me out! Open this door, David Winter! Just you let me out, it'll be the worst for you! Oh, Charles, it's David Winter. I'm sorry to disturb you at this time of the night, but I've got a bit of a problem. Charles, thanks for coming. I'm sorry to drag you out of this hour, but I didn't know what else to do. Uh, that's all right. Funny, just get in, actually. Been up in London at a conference. Well, thank God for that. Okay, come on. Bradley! So, David, what's it all about then? Well, I discovered this young woman hiding in the barn after that terrible storm we had. You had a storm? I'll say we had. Anyway, when it had finished, I went out to calm Mary's horse. And there was this creature. She said she was a witch, and that she was going to be drowned or burned, or both, back in 1600 and something, and that she'd managed to escape by transporting herself through time. Oh, that's very clever of her. Did she try and put a spell on you? <laughs> no, thank God. Oh, where is she? Upstairs. She's in here. It used to be the nursery, so there's bars on the window. Lucinda. Lucinda, I brought someone. The door's still locked. I had the key, you saw me. Well, she's obviously not here now. Lucinda! Lucinda! Mary, not him? No, she's been filming up in London. Yeah. Working late? So she says. You don't believe her? I think she's got a lover. Mary? Yes, Mary. I tell you, Charles, she... 
to that bloody director, I'll bet. She's with him right now. Uh, come on, David. Don't be ridiculous. So what's ridiculous? Mary's a very attractive woman. Well, of course she is. But you mustn't let fears become suspicions. Now, what evidence have you got? Well, nothing firm. Well, there you are. So stop getting paranoid. Charles, you don't think I'm going off my head, do you? Well, I think that you've been working very hard, that you're very tired, and that you could do with a good long rest. You do think I'm crazy? Now, listen, David. I've been treating you for nervous exhaustion, and you insist on going on working. I've also told you not to drink on top of the drugs which I've prescribed. And what do you do? I know. I'm sorry. So if you start to hallucinate, don't blame me, OK? OK. Good. Now, physically, you'll survive. But you've got to take things easy. I'm going to give you a shot, and it should help you relax and sleep tonight. in my imagination. Go away! Is that the body of a ghost? Is that real, David Winter? Tell me. <laughs> Hello, 3759. Mary? Charles. Something wrong? Well, it's David. What? Well, he called me over just now, and I think he was hallucinating. Oh, my God. Why? How? Well, probably just strain. Plus the fact that he'd been drinking on top of the pills that I gave him. Oh, typical. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, I don't think that he should be left alone more than can be helped. He should be all right for tonight, because I've given him a shot. But if, uh... OK, I'll drive back first thing in the morning. Sorry. But I do think that you should. David? David? Are you all right? 
Charles phoned me. Oh. Charles? Last night. Last night? Oh, yeah. What happened? Didn't, didn't Charles tell him? Not a great deal. He said you were hallucinating or something. Oh. There was a girl here. Oh? And she was real. I know she was real. She was solid. Flesh and blood. But when Charles came, she wasn't here anymore. Well, I'm here now. Do you want some breakfast? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm starving. I'm absolutely ravenous. Well, what did you have last night, apart from scotch? Uh, I don't remember. OK. You stay up here. I'll get you something. Mary, she was here. She said she was a witch. Lucinda Jessup, she called herself. She was here. Well, she doesn't seem to be here now. No. Come on. Lie down. I'll get you some breakfast. himself if he was in his right mind. Look, it's simply the result of stress, overwork. And the drugs you're giving him? Not on their own, no. Could it be dangerous? I don't think so. I mean, could he turn violent or anything? No, of course not. Now, you know that I wouldn't let you be exposed to any kind of threat. Are you sure? You were with him last night. Well, what was he like then? I'm disturbed. He kept on insisting that you have a lover. Hello? Listen, um, I saw Charles in the village. Yes, I thought you might. Oh? What did he say? Uh, he gave me some more pills for you, something a bit different. Stronger? No, just different. In case the other ones had something to do with what happened last night. I told you the girl was real. I didn't imagine it. Oh, listen, David, why don't you give yourself a day off? We could relax. We could go for a walk. Oh, right. Good. I'll pop upstairs and change.
Lucinda! Lucinda! is just, but when it comes to trying to kill me... Kill you? Don't be ridiculous. You just keep away from me. That thing, you pushed it. No. No, I didn't. No. What about this, then? <laughs> That's her! Oh, yes. I recorded it this afternoon to prove that I wasn't imagining things. You always were a lousy liar. Get out of my way. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm leaving, David. I've had enough. You can't leave me now. Get away from me. Leave me alone. You can't. <laughs> Miss me last night, my love. No. Go away. Did you miss me, David, while you lay with her? She's my wife. She's unfaithful to you. She's a worthless strumpet, and you know it. Leave me alone, damn you. You, my love, never. 
Your mind, David no, no. Winter. I put my mark on you forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> get rid of her, David. You must get rid of that strumpet horse. She must be destroyed. Do you hear me? You belong to Lucinda Jessup. It sounds like a classic case of poltergeist activity. Ghosts. A mischievous spirit. Could you perform an exorcism? Well, I'd have to talk to the bishop. Yes, but could you? I mean, would that get rid of it, at her? Possibly. Possibly not. One theory about poltergeists is that they could be a manifestation of telekinesis caused by someone living in the house. Telekinesis, that's some form of telepathy? Sort of. Some people appear to have the ability to move quite large objects and cause all sorts of physical upsets just by the power of thought. But things do actually happen, for real? Oh, indeed, yes. It's nothing new, either. It happened to John Wesley's family, you know, in his father's rectory. But what about our witch? Did she really exist? Well, there was certainly a spate of witch hunting in the mid-17th century. You see this fellow here? Amos Franklin. He was the local witch finder. There was a craze for it in various parts of the country at that time. It's very interesting. Yes, I'm sure. But... Our Master Franklin was a real fanatic. Hysterical Puritanism, you know. Terrible thing. What about our Mistress Jessup? <laughs> oh! The usual method of trial, it seems, was by water, even though trial by ordeal had been illegal for centuries. But the witch finders claimed that Satan's disciples did not deserve fair trial. So they drowned them? Only the innocent ones. And the others they burned alive? Not always alive. Sometimes they strangled them first with a rope. I suppose they thought that was being merciful. No doubt. Ah, here we are, 1652. There were several trials that year. May I see? One poor woman managed to escape. They raised a hue and cry, but never found her. Where? There. Mistress Lucinda Jessop. Of Woodstock Farm. <laughs> Come back here to me, David Winter. I haven't finished with you yet. You've got to be there. I need you. Look, I don't want anything to do with it. I can't take the risk of being involved. But you are involved. Yes, but I'm not seen to be. Oh, listen, Charles. I can't take much more of this. I've got to stand by him until all this gets sorted out, but then I... Can... Mary, you're my patient. I can't. Won't. I can't. I'd be struck off. You bastard. Mary, darling, I'm sorry. So but... am I. I'm just beginning to realize how little I really mean to you. Mary, please. A little it... bit on the side. Convenient. Safe. But when the going gets rough... But you've always known the situation. It's over, Charles. Finished. You just stay away from me. Or so help me, I'll blow it to every newspaper in the country. I've been here three days already. 
How are you feeling now? Well, apart from these pains, I feel absolutely fine. Pains are still there? In your arms and legs? Mm. And in my side. Here. <gasps> oh! I'll get you something for them. Sister, if there's nothing broken, I want to go home. Give it another day. Enjoy the rest. What can happen to your husband in one more day? to Megs, but she wouldn't let me. She? Lucinda. She wouldn't let me. Oh, David, you have got to fight. I can't. David, you must, you must not give in. You mustn't give in. You must fight it. You must, you must fight. Oh, oh. to me. David, all this has got to stop. We're going to have an exorcism. David, do you hear me? An exorcism to get rid of her. David. David, where are you? David? David, are you down there?
that do? <laughs> Mistress Mary, all mine. No! Yes! You don't exist! <laughs> you made this? I, Mistress. But I'm going to remake it. Now! Now! It's you! It's Lucinda. And she's going to burn! <laughs> you think I'd be afraid of the flames, Sam? 